Oh my. Oh my. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, uh. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dark and Sky here, and I'm here to show you an awesome trick that we like to call Arrow Cannon. So basically, I'm going to build that thing, and I'll explain what it does afterwards. But first, we need some stone so I can build up. Now, this can be done in creative or survival. I'm just doing it in creative for the sake of time and speed and the sake of flying. Now, if I could ever actually build all these that'd be good. We're gonna fire in that direction. Doo -doo -doo. All right that's good enough. So now I need to make a platform that is 10 blocks long in this direction. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then it's seven wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oops. Forgive my block placing fails. I'm not all that great at placing blocks while flying. I'm a survival player, so I don't do this very often. And in survival, I usually just dig into a mountain. I don't ever build like a house or anything. All right, that's good. So now, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. I swear I can count. Okay. So now what we need to do is go three blocks in from the left side. Two, three. Now we need a half slab. It can be any material of your choice, but I'm using uh, stone bricks just because they're my favorite. And uh, we're going to have to come down here. And put a few blocks here, here, and here, as well as here, and here. Reason being, we're going to dig this out. And we're also going to dig out um, these three right here. And we're going to put dispensers here. So we got some dispensers. Make sure they're all facing inward, like so. All right, and now on top of this dispenser, we need to put one block. And to put a block on top of a dispenser without accessing it, you hold down shift. So you crouch, place it, and it'll work just fine. All right, and now I'm going to build a pillar up right here. I'll explain why in a minute. That's good. Now I'm going to put another block here. All right, so I'm starting out just by building the outline. And so you can just mimic what I'm doing. Yes, that's right. Go four blocks up. Huh, that was awkward. That was my other cannon's piece of TNT exploding. Don't know why I did that. Alright, and now we're going to build one over. Now the reason this pillar is here is because if you're in survival, you'd place down ladders, climb up to put maintenance on this area. Do maintenance. I'm going to put maintenance on this, yes. Okay, and then a 2 by 3 box here. And now we need to get rid of that. I'll explain why in a minute. Put four blocks here like this. And I think that's it for all the block placements. Now let's move on to the more exciting part, or the redstone. So, oh no, wait, I lied. There needs to be three dispensers, one here, one here, and one here. And now we're done with the block placements for a minute or two. And now I'm going to start on the redstone stuff. So I need redstone. Ah, oh, whatever. Just go here. Need dust, capacitor, repeater, torch, uh, sticky pistons. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, and a button. Okay. So the first circuit we're putting down, we're going to put three redstone dust across like so. And that's going to power these three dispensers, which will do stuff later. 
And then right here, we're going to take our repeaters and put them this way. And then three dust around the outside. And put these, these repeaters in the other direction. So it's just going in a straight line. Oh, um, I failed. You don't destroy that block. You have another block there. And beneath it, you have a sticky piston. Now I'm terrible at placing pistons if you haven't figured that out by now. There we go. Okay, now redstone repeater here and here. And now the delays on these, set all of these ones to maximum. And this one to max, these first four. This one you only put one tick on, and this one you only put one tick on. And now we're going to place a redstone torch and have one piece of redstone here. Now this next part is the worst and most complicated part, and it's really annoying because it takes a lot of effort, but here's how you do it. So you go to this block right here, put a half slab so it's halfway up this block, put a piece of redstone dust here. That's the first one, fairly easy. Now for this next part, you're going to place blocks here, here, and here. And place another half slab on the top half of it so that these two are half a block apart. And place dust here. Now you're going to want to remove a couple of the extra blocks because they just get in the way. Oops. Pardon me for one moment. Sorry about that. I had to put out my dog. Um, where was I? Block here, block there. Mm, ah, yes, okay. And so now I've already put these two blocks here, and I'm putting a half slab there. Now I'm going to destroy all of these extra blocks. Because if you leave extra blocks, it can sometimes screw around with the redstone signal, and that's bad, obviously. Then we're going to put two blocks across like that. Put this on the top half of this block, like that. Okay, it looks like my screenshot. It's good. I took a screenshot of this because I was sick and tired of having to figure it out every single dang time. Okay, and then one more here. Get rid of these. And now you're going to put three so that it's right above, the last block is right above this dispenser. And now put the three redstone dust here. And we're going to take a sticky piston and put it facing downwards. Ooh. Oh my. As I said, I'm terrible at placing pistons so that it makes a little box right here. Alright, so that's phase one. Now for phase two, we're going to put redstone dust all around in this U shape. All the way down to here. Don't put it onto this. This is only here because of the pillar that you climb. Now we're going to bring it across to here. Put one here, one here. Put a comparator here. Activate the comparator. And now we need a lever. Put a lever here. And what this does is it creates a one tick pulse generator. And I think one tick is something like an eighth of a second. And so when I click this, it's just activating those dispensers repeatedly. Alright, so that's it for this redstone up here. That's the easiest part. All right, now we're going to put a button here so that we can activate the signal. And now we're going to need a couple more things. I'm just going to do slash clear because my inventory is all cluttered up. So we're going to need a bucket of water, a bucket of lava, and some signs. I swear I can spell sign. There we go. Okay, so we're, we're going to put the water bucket here so it's flowing like that. Okay. Now this block being on top of this dispenser is very important. I'll explain why in a moment. So first we're going to put a sign on this half slab. And then we're going to put another sign on top of here. And don't worry, it will be slightly offset. That's supposed to happen. Just stack them up all the way until they're covering this gap right here. And now for this side, we're going to do the same thing. Start there. And then stack the signs on top of each other. Again, they'll be offset like that. And now this side, same thing. They don't need to be aligned like they are. I just do that because I'm severely OCD. And now the reason this block is here is because if I put a sign right here, 
it'll block the water flow. So instead I put a sign here, and then because I'm OCD, I'm gonna put more signs sideways like this. Now they can be facing this other direction too, but that drives me up the freaking wall. So I'm doing it like this. There we go. That's good for that. And now the bucket of law. Oops. I actually need one more piece of TNT. And it's actually going to be multiple pieces of TNT. Um, so you take some TNT and put it into one slot of each dispenser. Do not put it in two slots or your cannon will be broken. It doesn't matter how much. It's just you're going to need one for every shot. So if you want to fire it a lot of times, then... Yeah, just put a full stack in there or something. And now I put a bucket of lava. So these signs are stopping the flow of the lava and making it uh, stop right there. Okay. Now, oops. I swear Sky can type. How not to type by Sky. So now I'm just going to cheat myself a bunch of items. 262 is the block ID for arrows. Pardon my loud keyboard. Um, shoot. Okay, that should be all. It's enough, I think. If not, oh well. So now we're going to fill up all of these dispensers with arrows. Completely to the brim. Oh yeah, it was enough. Okay, and so what this is going to do is in 1.7.5, which is the version I'm using, there's a glitch where if you fire arrows into t into TNT and then the TNT moves um, and then it pushes it back down, it's going to take on the properties of this block that moved, or in this case TNT. So basically I'm going to activate this one take pulse and it's just firing arrows repeatedly into this TNT block. You can see them all right there. And so I'm now going to pause and come back once they're all there because this takes a long time. Alright, it, it's getting close to being done now. Okay. And I did the math while I was away. And if you fill all these TNT or dispensers to the brim, there are 8,928 arrows inside that TNT block. It's a lot of freaking arrows. And so, yeah. So now I'm just going to fire this thing. And so, yeah, that's why we have TNT in here. They're going to be the fuel. Now, after I click fire, I'm going to have to get rid of this block in front of the arrows. Or this sign. The sign is here to stop the TNT from lighting prematurely because it likes to do that. And so now I'm going to come down here and press fire and quickly come over here. So to remove the sign, and then you'll see the magic and why I call this the arrow cannon. doing destruction it's just my minecraft is lagging and so it's not updating it fast enough and here we go what was just a peaceful beautiful landscape is now a giant hole of nothing it's quite the damage radius you can see it came all the way back here it even blew holes it has about a hundred block radius, and arrows are still flying everywhere, if you can't see. This is quite the weapon of mass destruction. And so if you play any kind of PvP or factions, and you want to raid someone's territory, this is the way to drill down, because look at how much area this covered. You can just drill through the entire thing. It's 
Now I'm just going to come down and pick up all these arrows. Yeah, outside of vanilla Minecraft, uh, well, inside of vanilla Minecraft, I don't think there's any way to do more damage than what I just did. And yeah. So the reason that happened is because, as I was saying earlier, there's a glitch with pistons and lava. And so each one of those arrows, when this TNT block pulled up, fired. But when the TNT block went back down on top of the lava, all of those arrows took on the aspects of TNT. And so every single one of them just exploded and created this giant crater of madness. Now just imagine you're here fighting with a bunch of dudes. Some good old PvP. Blah. And then this thing rains down on you. Yeah. I don't know how else to put it. It's quite extraordinary. And so I'm going to pause, reload, and do one more shot, and then I'll be back. Okay, and so this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, remove the sign, set myself to survival, teleport down there, which I have the command ready for, and then I'm going to just sit there as my doom is total. Okay, ready, set, go! Game mode zero. Go. All right, here it comes. Oh my! Oh my! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Ah, ah. I'm dead! I'm dead! Dead! Whoa! There's one here! Oh my. Being on the receiving end of that is quite something. And we are drilled even deeper into the earth. So yeah, that was with two shots. And even though that is 17,856 arrows now gone, totally worth it. And yeah, I am now almost down to bedrock. One more shot would probably put me down to the bedrock. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to make one more shot. All right, I'm not going to go back down there this time. I'm just going to see if I can drill down to the bedrock with this one last shot, which I swear this will be my final shot. And go. Oh, shoot! Shoot, that's bad! Oh, Well, that was awkward. Um, <laughs> let me try that one more time. Note to self, always break sign before pushing button. And break sign from the side. Alright, let's do this. Flying death. Oh yeah, that should do just fine. Still not quite at bedrock, but pretty dang close. Pretty sure you guys could, you know, finish this last part off by yourself. Ooh, diamonds. Lol. Alright, uh, that's it for me for this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it, and hope it was informative. You just watched me turn this peaceful land of peacefulness into this giant crater of destruction. War destruction. And yeah, obviously this thing pretty dang strong. Uh, if you guys liked this, uh, leave a comment. Don't care if you subscribe. Well, 
I do, but I don't want to sound like a dirtbag. Anyways, uh, if you have any pointers for anything I can do better next time, be sure to let me know. And yeah, be sure you just have fun and go kill some friends in PvP. Oh, one, f one more thing to say before I close out. Unfortunately, this glitch has been fixed. As of today, 1.7 was released, and it's fixed. But if you, if you do this, it'll still be a fantastic arrow cannon that will still do something like 8,000 damage to someone and annihilate them. And so, yeah. Uh, hope this was awesome. Rock on, and see you guys later.